All right, this is Aaron's lifting routine. Uh, as with all my videos, I just suggest if anything bothers you at all when you're doing these, please don't do them, okay? Um, there are other ways you can replicate these exercises, and if you have questions about how to do so, just leave a question in the, uh, the comments, okay? And I'll try to get back to you and, and answer those best I can, um, or direct you to a video to show you how to do those. All right, so um, our first one is going to be goblet squats. You can do those a number of ways. Um, goblet squats, if, if you're not prepared for a weight, just do um, with you know non-weighted, so don't use a weight at all. Um, you can use a dumbbell. And if you do so, the, uh, the way I'd like you to do it is when you grab your dumbbell, okay, you've got it in one hand, your other hand here, okay, and then you're going to keep that back nice and straight and just move back, just kind of sit back, all right, so moving back, again, just kind of sit back, keeping that back straight. You don't want to break form, so you don't have to go too deep. As soon as you feel like you're compromising your form, don't go any deeper. Stay at that point, okay? So you're going to do 12 of those. All right, if you happen to have a kettlebell, I'll show you that grip. All right, so you're going to hold the sides of the kettlebell, okay? Same thing, hold it up by your chest, kind of feet apart a little bit wider than your shoulders. If you need to turn them out, that's totally fine. And then you're just gonna drop down again, okay? Drop it down, don't break form. Nice and slow, inside. Again. All right, those are goblet squats. Next one is um, you can do weighted um, dips. You can just use two chairs, um, whatever props you have. Uh, let's see if I can show you from different angles here. I've got plyo boxes that I use, but if you don't have those, like I said, you can just use two chairs. I'll show you how I'm holding the box, but in essence, what you're gonna do, hands on the side of your chair, feet on the other chair, and you're just gonna dip down, okay? Dipping down. Let those arms go down almost 90 degrees and push back up. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my hand on the side of the box, okay? And you can even just do it with one chair. If you have, that's all you have. Feet on the ground, and again, just dip down, okay? Dipping down. All right, that's I'm just checking my exercises here. Um, single leg deadlifts. Uh, again, if you're not prepared for a weight, that's fine. If you are gonna use a weight, what you're gonna do is, since these are single leg, you're gonna put that weight on the leg that you're gonna keep on the ground. Okay, so whatever foot's staying on the ground, put the weight in that hand. Okay, and then you're just gonna tip forward. So I'm gonna keep my back and leg in a straight line and just kind of dip over and then back, okay? You can bend that leg just a little bit, that knee, bend it just a slight bit. And then when I start to feel tension in my hamstring, I'm gonna come back up. I'm not very flexible, so some of you will be able to get lower than me, but keep that leg straight in the back Kind of just keep it in line with the, the back. If they're moving as one. I'm doing 12 on each leg. Okay. So from the front, what that would look like. Okay, I've got the weight. I'm gonna go on, let's switch, do my other leg. <clears throat> Bend my left leg just a hair. Right leg straight. Keeping my back and my right leg in line. Just tipping over. Those of you that know Tippy Twist by Jay DeSherry, this is the tippy part without the twist. So if you have Running Rewired, you can see how he does these. Um, he does the tippy twist, but that's single leg deadlifts. All right, 
Our next one is overhead push press. Um, you can do these with dumbbells if, uh, if that's all you have. Um, I'll show you how to do those. <clears throat> so you're gonna start, okay? You can lock up your core, kind of just tighten up, all right? What I'm gonna do is with bent legs, okay? These are my, my shocks, if you will. I'm gonna push up to a straight leg position, thrusting those hips forward and driving up the arms, okay? Thrust, really push with your whole body. Drive those weights up. Keeping the arms at 90 degree angles when they come down and thrust, okay? Drive, really power. Just all the power you got, driving it up, okay? If you've got a bar, same premise. All right, I'm gonna put it in my rack position here, okay? I think I'm all clear. Bent knees, arms up, nice straight back, and I'm gonna drive it up. Really pushing with my feet. See, I get up on my toes. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but I'm driving from my toes all the way up, engaging the whole body. To really push that weight up. Explosive. That builds a lot of power and strength. All right. Then we've got split squats. Here you can use a chair or again, a plyo box. You can do this weighted or non-weighted, depending on how much strength you have. The foot position, I'll show you from the side, okay? The foot position, I'm going to have my toes on the box. So toes are almost in a flex position. Knees are nice and supple, okay? I don't want to get too far away from the box, okay? So toes are on the box, all right? What I want is that front leg, when I go down, is that front leg will be perpendicular to the ground. So right here. My shin is perpendicular to the ground. Straight up and down. Okay, keeping that back nice and straight. Okay, 12 on each leg. And you'll switch. Other one, Let's see if I can do it from the side for you guys. Put it on the box. Front leg not too far out. Step-ups, each leg. So, step-ups, again, you can do these weighted or non-weighted, whichever you like. You're gonna do 12 to 15 reps on each leg. Put one foot up, and then you're gonna drive with that other knee, bringing that leg straight up. Nice, controlled, back down, straight up. These are great to do with a weighted vest. But you're mimicking the running motion. So drive those arms as you come up. Nice and controlled, especially on the way down. Don't let yourself slam down, okay? So from the front, drive up, slow down, drive up. Trying to keep that knee over the foot. Don't let it shift in, especially, okay? Up, don't let that knee shift inward. Control the motion, okay? Slow down, all right. Um, one that I forgot right at the beginning, pull-ups. If you do not have a pull-up bar, which a lot of us don't, um, there are plenty of videos online. You can do body weight rows. That's what they, they're termed. Um, I have a TRX system. You can tie a, a bed sheet into a knot, put it through a doorway, and then close the door so that the knot is on the far side of the door. And then you can hold the bed sheet 
just like I would the TRX bands, okay? So if this were the bed sheet, I'd be holding the, the bed sheet, and then I go down into a plank position, and then I'm gonna pull myself up. Those are body weight rows. You can do those instead of pull-ups. I have a pull-up bar, but a lot of people don't. If you do, pull-up bar is great, but if you don't, body weight rows is a great way to replicate that. Again, plenty of YouTube videos on how to use that bed sheet to do so. Um, check those out. So I totally forgot about those. Um, next exercise, push-ups. I think we're all familiar with push-ups. Uh, you're just gonna be in a strength, straight arm plank position. Okay, and there's a billion different ways you can do push-ups, um, but we're just, in essence, if you need to do it from your knees, totally fine. You're going down to your chest and back up. Nice controlled motion. Don't go down too fast. Don't come up too fast. Just nice and controlled. Keep it smooth. 12 to 15 of those. Okay? Push-ups. And then walking lunges. Um, again, you can do these weighted. A lot of these you could use a weighted vest to do. So if you have a weighted vest, that's awesome. Um, since I've got a static video, um, I'm just gonna do in place and I'm just gonna alternate legs. If you were walking, you would um, just continue as if I was walking straight towards the camera. But here, if I could do a few, I would go one leg out and then I would do the next leg into a lunge but I'm gonna stay back here and just show alternating. I'll try to show from both angles. Again, posture, really important. Nice back straight. Engage your core, coming out forward. Don't let the knee drive too far forward. Again, keeping that shin perpendicular to ground, straight up and down. Alternating legs. So 12 to 15 on each leg. Again, if you wanna use a weighted vest versus dumbbells, totally fine. If you can't use either and you need to build to this, again, do what is best for your body, okay? So try not to let the knee hit the ground. Stop just before your knee is about to touch. Come back up, okay? So from the side, I go out, back up, back nice and straight. Don't let that knee drive in again, keeping that shin perpendicular to the ground, straight up and down, alternating legs, 12 to 15 on each leg, okay? So I go for two rounds of that. That's my lifting routine. Um, some great exercises in there, encompasses, you know, both upper body, core, lower body, lots of stuff there, lots of single leg engagement. Um, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. I certainly appreciate you guys watching. And uh, see you in the next video.